Good morning. How are we doing, guys? Hope you're good. Happy Friday. Um, so in today's show, we're going to talk about how to keep the chaos at bay. We're going to look at what the chaos is. Come here. Jesse, come here. We're going to look at what the chaos is, and we're going to look at how to keep it at bay. Um, I was going live on my personal page rather than man coach page, and then I realised it about two... I was, like, talking for two minutes, thinking... Where is everyone? <laughs> I realised that I completely messed up. Anyway, um, so we were talking about um, how we're going to keep that chaos at bay. And what I want you to do in the comments below is that I want you to tell me what is chaos for you? How does chaos look for you? And the reason I want you to do that is kind of look at, I look at this as a, an opportunity to raise your self-awareness, if you like. And you're raising that self-awareness by writing things down, understanding them better. Um, and you might not normally do that in everyday life. So this is an opportunity for you to be open, for the community to kind of like see what other people find as chaos and open up to other people around. And I think you'll find it help. Okay, trying to get into that regular routine three times a week. All right, so we're talking about how do we keep the chaos at bay. So the chaos... Chaos of life, for me, are a couple of things. Um, stress. Um, stress of a job maybe you're not into. Maybe a struggling relationship. Um, maybe it's your health concerns. Maybe it's stress about the way the world is at the minute. <laughs> Could be any of those things. Um, uncertainty. So being uncertain about... Like the direction you're going, um, the uh, the way the world's going, um, your relationships, your personal development, the self pressure you put yourself under. For sure, that is definitely. Um, it's um, it's feeling anxious. It's having low emotional intelligence in terms of not knowing how to handle your emotions throughout the day. Um, and all of these things culminate as chaos. Kids, money, finances. It's just reality. You, you, could, you could call it chaos or you could just call it reality, right? And these are things that every single day impact us mentally, emotionally and physically. Now, the way that I visualise this, and I haven't got anywhere to be able to draw this, so I'm going to describe it to you as best as I can. When you think of a rectangle, and I want you to think of that rectangle as um, a base, like, a, like a, a forward operating base in the military. And that base is where your mind lives. That's your mind. Inside that base is your control levels, control of your time, your energy, your balance. It's where your consistency lies. It's where your clarity lies. It's where we keep most of our thoughts and processes. And I want you to think about that base and us having to protect that base. Now, we protect it on each of the four corners. And each of those four corners are pillars. And the pillars that we talk about are health, relationships, personal development, and business. Okay, so health is mental, emotional, and physical. Personal development is personal development. Okay, not anything necessarily to do with work. So how can we improve ourselves? How can we improve our emotional intelligence? How can we improve our mental resilience? Um, how can we learn something for ourselves, like a language, sign language? Okay, what are we doing for ourselves to self-learn? Um, relationships, relationships with ourselves first and foremost. Relationships then with the people that we love most. And in business career, like, you know, how happy are you in your career? How stable are you in your career and financially? And those are the four pillars. Now, if those four pillars aren't strong enough, what ends up happening is that the chaos ends up entering our rectangle. So if you think about the Taliban, the Taliban are tr trying to get into your rectangle, trying to get into your fort. And unless we fight them off, they're just going to overrun you. And it's going to be bad news. And that's how I think about, like, life and our little structure. So our rectangle, we're going to call structure. Um, and if our pillars are imbalanced, if they're not strong, if you don't work on yourself, then that structure can break quite easily. 
And that's why you see a lot of people on New Year's Eve or at the start of the year going, oh, I'm on it, or after summer going, I'm on it, I'm smashing it, I'm doing this. But then what and ends up happening is that chaos, that reality, starts overwhelming the structure again, it starts overrunning it. And you completely and utterly lose that focus. And because you lose that focus, you, let's go, you end up crumbling. So the, the wheels start falling off. Okay, so we might end up, health pillar might end up taking a knock because of your career. DB, Jesse, let's go. Might end up taking a knock because of your career. You might start prioritising and putting all of your people into one corner, leaving one exposed. So then your health suffers. And then it might be a relationship that suffers. Maybe you're focusing everything on your relationship and your career suffering. It can, it can work as a cross balance. But the thing that we have to try and establish is balance. Balancing that structure and reinforcing that structure. And the way that we do that is by showing up. Let's go. It's by reinforcing that structure. It's like building that structure. And that's what keeps us going. That's what keeps us on top of our game, okay? Mentally, emotionally, and physically. And when we don't work on ourselves, that structure collapses. When the structure collapses, the wheels fall off, the bad habits form, the negative mindsets form. We slip, you slip, and you fall off the wagon. And that's how I see most men slipping back into that rut and those trenches. And the way we keep that at bay, the way we keep that consistently, all of that chaos at bay, is by doing our morning routines, is by doing our gratitude and realizing, realizing what we have, is by having a good work-life balance, is by moving percent at 1% a day, is by having a mission and knowing what we're trying to achieve. Because then we have some form of consistency of showing up in each of the pillars. We have more control of our time and energy across the book and, and the balance of across the pillars. We have clarity on who we are and what we're becoming across the pillars. And it all reinforces that that's that rectangle that we call the structure, or if you're visualizing it, that fort that we're holding up, that we're keeping people at bay. And the more that that structure stays in place, the stronger that we can be. And when the punches come in in life, when they come flying in, sometimes you hit, you, you, you hit a, hard, a hard punch hits you, and what ends up happening is that you're well structured to be able to deal with it. Sure, you might react emotionally, you might have to take a blow, but your conditioning is much better. It's much stronger. You're able to come back harder and faster rather than crumbling on the floor and it completely consuming you. Now, I hope that makes sense. I try, like, if I had a whiteboard, it makes a lot more sense. But I would just want you to always that picture in your head. Whenever you kind of feel you, that, the, that the wheel's falling off, whenever you feel like you're losing emotionally uh, that, that battle, just think about your structure rectangle, your fort, and think about just like, where is it going wrong? Where are the, where are the cracks in my structure? You know, in, my, in those four pillars, how, are, how is the chaos seeping in and overrunning me? And I think when you can nail that, and by the way, that's something that we continuously nail. That's what I try and teach on the 28 days. On the 28 day program, that's what we teach, how to create your, your structure. In the mastermind, it's how do we maintain that thought and reinforce that thought. That's the whole point of what we're doing. People either run away from it, people are, are avoiding it, but you either wanna live a much happier, uh, content life, or you just wanna keep going around in this roller coaster, in this hamster wheel. You can't, you can't have both lives, okay? Um, anyway, listen, I hope that helps. If you haven't signed up for the webinar, get yourself on it. The link's up here. Um, we're doing uh, next Wednesday a, an evening with me, a webinar, free webinar. And in that webinar, I'm going to teach you how to create and build your mission, re -engine, uh, re reverse engineer your mission and how to be able to show up each day, you know, reinforcing that structure. I'll be talking a lot more about this as well in that. So listen, I hope you have a great day and I'll catch up with you soon.